thing, and I think I was going to alternate. Whoa. Hey guys, welcome to the Knit Now Swatch Later YouTube channel. My name is Courtney. This is a knitting podcast where I talk to you primarily about my knitting projects and sometimes crochet and sewing, just depending on what I have going on at that time. I'm coming to you from Pennsylvania where I live with my husband and our two dogs and two cats. And this episode, I am going to be showing you guys some of my project planning for probably the fall months. So just jump right in. So I have been trying to work through my stash and try and minimize what I have in my yarn cabinet so I decided to pull out yarn quantities for projects that are in my queue. So these are all using yarn that I already had just and I just like packed them up and I labeled them with a little tag with the pattern name and the designer on the tag so that I know what my intentions were for this yarn when I come across it later. So this is for the All The Time Sweater by Laurel K. And this is in one of my project bags from White Rose Fiber Company. And I just have all the yarn sitting in there just like that so I have um, some scraps and then this is mostly um, from the Sorella Halloween countdown calendar so let me pull these out I don't think that I have the card anymore but like these are all the colors and then these aren't enough for the sweater alone so I also picked out a few more um, scraps in my stash that I felt like went with the color palette. And then there's one tucked down in this cozy. So, whoo! I wanted something that would use up this whole advent calendar together. And I think that this pattern is going to be it. So... Moving on to my next project bag, which is holding yarn for Okapi by Judith Bryan. So there is the name. So I have this for the main body. Uh, this is Knit Picks Palette in the color Puma Heather. I have at least like 12 balls of this so I'm going to use this for the body and then I have scraps I don't know what color this is um but it's Tina's Twisted Fibers I really want to say the color is Airheart but I'm not sure um but I thought I would alternate between this and then this is Hedgehog Fibers in the colorway Malice I was thinking I would use those two colors alternating for the stripes on the sleeves and then I already have like my needles and everything in this one so as soon as I get a couple more things off of my needles I think I'm going to cast on this sweater first. Next up in one of my favorite project bags from White Rose Fiber Company is the mystery book bag. I just I love this book or this, this book, this project bag so much because I love books and on the inside it is an Alice in Wonderland print. I don't know how well you can see that, but super cute. I love it. And then this bag is holding yarn for the Easy V by Caitlin Hunter. And then I pulled out all of these colors for that. So these are the colors that I'm planning on using and I think I was going to alternate these two uh, for the body. I feel like they're the most similar colors in my stash and I don't know I'm going to try like helical knitting or something to combine them 
so that they kind of look like a solid body color. This is Farmer's Daughter Fibers in the colorway Moon Sisters on their, or no, this is the base is Moon Sisters and the color is Union Street State of Mind. And it has, oh, I didn't notice before, but this has like a little bit of Stellina in it. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but it just made my whole day. My whole day seeing that there is sparkle in this. Okay, anyway. So, so there's that one. So actually that might not work for the body. But anyway, and this one is three Irish girls on their Spring Veil sock base. And the colorway is River Delta. Just super pretty. And it has that kind of same tone of blue as the Farmer's Daughter. So I don't know. I don't know if I can get away with these as just like alternating skeins as the body color. What do you think? Let me know. Let me know if that's going to work or if I'm just crazy. Um, but if you think I'm crazy, my husband helped me pick these colors. So if they're wrong, blame him. Not me. Okay. <laughs> and then I was going to do, I think, these colors for the color work. And then this is by Gaddy Yarn Company on her tabby sock base. And this is, I brought you my bullets and you brought me your love. Just a really pretty pink and gold. Um, this is from Gwen Erin Natural Fibers. I bought this on my girls trip with my friend Caitlin. This is on her Orla sock base. Mm, or maybe that's the color name. I don't know. It's really pretty purple. So, yeah. I'll try to adjust my light here. Because I feel like it's too, too bright. How about like this? Okay. And then this is Yarn Candy, and the colorway is, there is no colorway, surprise. Um, yeah, I got this one in Florida, um, visiting my brother-in-law a couple years ago. So, that's all that I have for that. I think my stitch marker is what fell off. Yeah, it broke. So, let's put that back on the zipper. <laughs> okay, crisis averted. There's one more. I don't even remember what this one is. So, it's going to be a surprise for everybody. And this is in one of my, like, original project bags that I made for the shop with this, like, heavy canvas material. Um, that I sold these at, like, my first ever craft show. So, that's kind of exciting that I still have one. Just kind of hanging around. And this is for the Madewell by Hohi Locatelli. I don't think I've ever knit a pattern by her before. So this will be a first. And then this is all the same yarn. I'm just knitting it in one color. Um, and this is Quince & Co. Willet which is 100% cotton, and the color is regatta. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. This yarn has been in my stash for quite a while. My husband bought it for me for our second wedding anniversary, maybe. Whichever one is cotton, because we both did, like, cute things for our you know, our preferred hobbies for the, we like to kind of do the traditional gifts, but like with a twist. So like this was my cotton <laughs> gift is a hundred percent cotton yarn. Um, so yeah, I just have all of these project bags with stash yarn and don't worry, my stash is still very, very full. And then I am just keeping them and I'm just kind of keeping them in this basket in the corner of my craft room. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys next time. So until then, happy knitting. Bye.